Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion using Diffusion B. This is for Mac owners only, and it's extremely easy. It's one-click installation. I've had it up and running, and then I uninstalled it so I can show you step by step. First step, you want to go to DiffusionB.com, which I'm at right here, and then you get a few options. You're going to click Download for Mac OS, and then you can actually do a few different things. You have a regular um, Mac if you have the Apple Silicon, or you can have the high quality version. It runs slower, but it gives you better images. And then there's also ones for if you have a older Mac uh, Book Pro, for example, and it used the Intel uh, processors. I have the Mac Book uh, Pro, the one of the recent ones with the silicon in it, so with the Apple Silicon. So I'm gonna click on this one, and then I'm gonna download it here. It's gonna take a few seconds. And then once it's done, I'm going to come back and we're going to go right through the process. All right, I've downloaded it. It's about half a gig download. I'm going to click on the download, the DMG file. And here it is, Diffusion B. I'm just going to drag this into my applications folder. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace it because I downloaded the uh, smaller version last time. Once it's done, oh yeah, it's installing very, very quickly here. So I don't need to go off here. And then boom, it should be done. Let's go into the Finder. And then we're going to go click out of this, we're going to click on Finder, we're going to go to the Applications, which are right here, and then Diffusion B, double click on it, and boom, it will start loading. Now, hopefully you're following along with me, of course I'm going to allow this to open, and here we go, Diffusion B is up and running, and this is an amazing program, it just has to do a bit of an update here, and it downloads some models, so I'm going to come back when this is done, and then we're going to work on the program. All right, welcome back. That took about two minutes to download and install. I've got a pretty fast internet connection, but uh, it's eight gigabytes or so, so that may vary for you. But anyways, once you've got it up and running, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the standard text to image. You're going to see the image to image options, in painting, out painting, and then a history. So I had this installed already on the lower quality version, the regular version, and I had some pretty cool, uh, you know, I got some pretty cool images. Um, just keep in mind that this version, Diffusion B, saves everything to your hard drive. So this isn't stored in the cloud or any of that other nonsense. This is all local. So if I'm on text to image and you want to come up with an idea, all you got to do is type in what you want. I don't know, dog reading a book, something like that, and let's see what happens. Off we go. Generate, and then uh, this might take a few seconds because I've got the, uh, the fancy dancy version. I'll come back when it's ready. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got. If I click on it, we've got a dog reading a book. Uh, it's a little messy, uh, but not to worry. So this is, it, it's now installed. It does take a little longer uh, on this version here. Uh, let's see what else we can do here while I got you here. I can show you some prompt ideas. So this will take you to Art Hub, and then what you can do is flip through all of these different images, and if you see something you like, like let's this one here, click on the image, and then you'll get the prompt here. You can actually just take that prompt, copy the prompt like I just did there, and head on back. Same thing for a place like Lexica. This also uses Stable Diffusion. If you're looking for prompt ideas, you can click on this one here, Picnic in Dolores Park, and you can just click, actually click on Copy Prompt, and off you go. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back to, oops, not that one. We're going to go back to Diffusion B. And here we are. So if I wanted to run that one, I would just Command V and bang, off it would go and it would start generating another image. While I do that, I'll show you that it has image to image as well. So if you want to have an image or a piece of art or a texture or anything of that matter to act as an input or an inspiration, perhaps, you can just drag and drop in an image like I'm going to do right here. And in a second here, it's going to load that in. Let's see what we got on our other one here, actually. Look at that. Actually, that did a pretty good job. Uh, let's go back to image to image. Here we go. I can go ahead and click on this. Let's see if I can get this image here. I'm going to drag it and drop it in. If I could just get over to it. And there we go. Image to image. And I'll use that as an image. And then I'll just be like, you know, reading a book. And I have image to image up and running. So this is how you use Diffusion B. Uh, it's got in painting, so if you need to get rid of blemishes, out painting if you need to expand it the size. I won't bore you with the details on that. But this is how you do it, guys. Awesome, awesome program. Totally free. Works locally. Can't beat it. Let's see what image to image gives us. Yeah, what's that all about? Okay, guys, thanks for watching.